the live reaction to the first Into the Light live stream. Let's go. New uh, wave difference uh, activity. It is a uh, wave. It, okay. It takes inspiration from a, you know, so we're finally getting, can I can't say finally, but like we're getting a wave based portal, game which mode. Means it is three person activity. It's not a six person activity. So every uh, part of its power could be interesting. Our goal is to defend the ADU or yeah. advanced defense unit, which allows us to build our defenses like turrets, tripwires, decoys, and the main goal is to make sure that that thing stays up for oh, all the wave that you're fighting in. Yeah. That's if dope, that actually. I mean, you really think about it, like almost every well, single activity that we've had that's been like, you know, a seasonal activity that's like, it's been on the offensive. Like, we've been having to attack the enemy, but now we'll be able to set, like you said, we'll be able to set up turrets, trip mines, all that stuff. Oh, dude. The architecture's kind of neat. Wait! Why is this like a... Oh, no. Anyone else see it, too? It's literally Midtown. Yeah, right there! You see it right there? It says Midtown! Damn, so it's not really like a refreshed area. They just, like, kind of... Darkified it, I guess. Like they, they, we have all these like darkness structures here now. Uh, go ahead and just yeah, I was about to say, look, that was like the midnight coup looking. Oh, okay. we, uh, it is the midnight coup. What? Screens, what? Yeah. Also, so, uh, so I didn't think it was gonna be an exact like copy. You just got a hung jury as a drop. Is that like a revamped hung jury too? Oh, champs are actually in this game mode. That's kind of neat. So I wonder if the maps are just gonna be basically any type of city map. So you have Midtown, any Crucible map that is based in the city, because it says Midtown. So I. Is, instead of like the activity so i assume we're going to get more than just this play area so as noah said earlier there's 50 waves in yeah. our, our our challenge version of this activity okay 50 uh, waves so it's, it's easy quick fun to hop into you do 10 waves and you're done and then there's the challenge version which we're showing here so there's uh 50 waves or or, or five sets of 10 waves yes uh, is how we like to talk about it here we go Look at that. here we go Ooh. You make it look so what, what is this rift? <laughs> okay, so this is kind of like similar to the current season of, you know, Riven's Lair and the Coil. Like, Riven's Lair, you have your one rotation around and you're done. With the Coil, you can do all four to get a lot of rewards. So, seems like it's going to be similar. I just hope it's not Midtown by itself. I hope we have some different maps, map options, I guess. Because basically revamping a PvP map for this, like, yeah, it's kind of unique for you know adding adding that aspect yeah, for like pv but i i, I kind of hope we have some new locations i mean shoot if they brought back you know the beginning of the black armory raid if y'all remember that bring back that area of the city too that'd be kind of cool considering that was sunset so. they're about to <laughs> they're gonna die in three hits to a banner of war worm god caress titan bro let's be honest but you're falcons everyone so anyone who mispronounces it that's how you say it. Um, doing that, I love Barry Blood. Thank you. Great weapon uh, from you know World Thank War. you. And, you know, I'm just doing that Confirmed. It's Gear Falcons, not Gear Falcons you know, or whatever. Yeah, everyone was like cooking me. Whenever I dropped the Gear Falcons build, everyone in the comments, that was like the main comment. Everyone was like, um, actually, like, go ahead and put your away, okay? You know, the thing I just noticed, I, I didn't even think about it really, was that in the image we see the Hive, but they're playing against the Fallen, so I assume we're just going to be facing enemies of humanity, Fallen, Cabal, Hive. Okay, so the ADU just changed places after 10 rounds. Oh, it just changed the Hive. Okay, so so every 10 rounds, it's going to be a different enemy race. Yeah, I can already see it now. Banner of War Titan, Sun Bracers Warlock, Tether Hunter, Orpheus Rig for orbs. I just saw a comment in the chat that said, will this game mode stay around when the final shape drops? i am be honest with you, it's not. Because this is basically a season, right? So the final shape was technically supposed to drop here, last actually, month, which would have been a start to a new season, right? This is spawn. this is really they, they, it's an event technically, but it, in in all reality, it's like a seasonal right, activity, yeah. right? If anything, it's All gonna be closer to Guardian Games, the Dawning, Festival of the Lost, whatever you whatever event thing. If, this event's it. only gonna be around for the time we're gonna have it, and I'm not sure about the rewards, like if we're only going to be able to earn the rewards in this game mode. Um, if it stays around, hey, that's cool. 
Um, two directions. But in my yeah. opinion, I don't. I, I, I don't think really it's going to. Maybe just for the. Oh, it fell Where'd off. Where'd it go? Mind. All right. Go full. Yep. No. 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 The void calls. So Damn. Where are we on? Defenses you pick, like that you place before in your previous locations, those will still be active. That, that was my other thought too. Like because if it rotates time, around the map, do you get to keep your previous stuff? Because if not, not, from what I've seen about you, and you know how much scrap you earn, you a that is, <laughs> if, if everything refreshed, somewhere. that will would help you suck. Out and you'll now there is not. Oh my good lord! <laughs> Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> what a great time to think. Oh no! Do we have tormentors too? Nah, it's over. Everyone's uh, cooked. Uh, All I heard was that out? sound, and I'm or like, the, yeah, the PTSD. Yeah. Will there be, like, if you have just two people on your fire team and you want to go in solo, is there a private mode you can dive into this with? I believe that you hop in the higher difficulties, you can do yeah. that. Excellent. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So everyone out there that wants yeah, to Yeah, so if you want to solo it, you can hop in the 50-round version 50 by yourself. Ways. In any event, if what you saw was valuable or entertaining to you, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other gaming content that I drop here on the channel. Like I mentioned, we do live streams here on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok all at the same time, a couple days a week. If you would like some updates, again, be sure to follow the Twitch, join the Discord, that link will be in the description. We do run Destiny 2 help, so if you do need help with GMs, dungeons, raids, whatever we're doing during the day and you want to hop in, again, hop in the chat, hop in the Discord, we can help you out. Last thing before I go, if you want to help support the channel even more, you can look into becoming a member. A membership is essentially a Twitch subscription, but on YouTube, it's actually cheaper on YouTube, which is just hilarious in any event. The main thing is that you get access to exclusive emotes, monthly badges, and other cool things here on the channel. Mainly, you get access to some of my exclusive content early. So if you would like more information, all you have to do is press the join button next subscribe, and I'll give you a rundown with all the details you need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Spinning Boy, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! ways to do extra damage to them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Great. Not too shabby. I am also, I'll say it again, I'm so bitterly jealous I don't have buried bloodline right now. Like, you're making it look so good. I was going to have to carry you. It's good.